Hello and welcome to MHA Digital Communities. My name's Katie and today we're going to be exploring Spanish themed art. For today's activity, we're going to be making Spanish fans. So let's get started. So the materials you're going to need today are uh, three sheets of A4 thin colored card. I've got red, orange, and yellow. Um, I've got a pencil, a ruler, some masking tape, so a glue stick, a stapler, a pair of scissors, and a little assortment of colored pens. And I've also got one of these butterfly clips, which are just quite handy. Um, if you don't have one of these, a, a peg would be just as good. So, um, so for this design, we're going to be starting off by taking one piece of paper. So I've got my yellow piece of paper and you will need to create this accordion structure with the paper. So what I want to do first is just measure out, I'm just going to use my ruler, it's about three centimetres that each fold on the fan is going to be. Uh, whoops. So then I'm going to just fold over and then just press that down firmly. You can go along with your nail or if it's helpful just to get the ruler, you can slide it along like that. Then I'm going to take this and turn it over and fold back. So I'm folding back on myself. And again, if you just use the ruler, it's quite helpful. So that's kind of how you make each one of the folds. Now, I want to make a fan that's got a beautiful um, range of patterns and colours. So I just wanted to show you how you'll be doing the folds. Um, if we just go back to the flat piece of paper for now, what I'd like to do is create a pattern design to go onto my paper before I fold it. And this is pretty much more or less a doodle. Um, I'm just going to show you how I, how I do that. I'm just going to take my piece of paper and then I'm going to pick a nice contrasting colour. So I've got this pen and I'm literally going to do some bands across just a wavy lines like this. Then I'm just going to add um, some little motifs that I'm making up myself. So I'm just going to add some little swirls like this. And remember that this will all be folded up so it doesn't have to be done extremely carefully. We're just trying to get some colour and some pattern into it. Okay, and then I'm just going to probably put in just some little dots, just to add a little bit more. Okay, so that's my first piece of paper, and I'm going to need three. I'm just going to go to the next one. So I've got my red here, uh, and I'm going to choose this pink pen. So these are all quite nice hot colours. Um, this time I'm going to go for some zigzag lines. more on here. I'm going to take some orange. I'm 
and do some little star motifs. dry for a moment and I'm going to take my next piece of paper, my orange, and then um, I will go with some blue. Then I might add a little bit of yellow here. Okay, and so that's my three, um, three different sheets of coloured card with the patterns. Now, obviously with it being a fan, it can be seen on both sides. So you can add a different range of patterns on the other side if you wish. I'm just gonna do it on one side for now, but you can see exactly what the effect is. Um, and we'll be mixing those together in a moment. So if we go back to our first one, so that should all be nice and dry now. So we originally did our first two folds and we're just going to keep on going with that. So we're going to turn it over. and flattening it down. And do try and use something like a ruler just to flatten it, because as it gets a little bit thicker, it's a little bit harder to flatten. So just need to go back over again. Okay, so that's section number one. Then we're going to repeat the same for the next two. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult to get the crease into exactly the same place, so you sometimes just have to try and maneuver it into the same place, because it tends to slide a bit. And obviously it also depends on the thickness of the card. Um, you could just do this with, with a paper that's fairly thick rather than a thin card if you wished, but it, this makes it a bit stronger and a bit more substantial. And it actually does work as a fan. So we can probably do one more here. You might find that when you get to the end of the paper, there'll be a little bit that's smaller. Don't, don't worry about that. We can always cut that off or leave it on. That's fine, depending on where we join them together. So that's two. And for our third one.
And there we have our three sections of the fan. So the next job is to decide which arrangement of colours you want to join together, um, whether you want to go red, orange, yellow, or the other way around. Um, I think I might do mine like that. Okay, so we've got them all together now. Um, and what we want to do is make sure that we find edges that are, that are going to be the same width. So for example, those two, they'll, they'll match well together. If it didn't, we could always turn them around, trying to keep all the patterns there. Um, on this one, I'm going to use the slightly bigger edge on there. So they've got plenty of surface area to stick each one together. So I'm going to now flatten that out and I'm going to use my glue stick. So to put a generous amount of glue onto that edge. And I'm going to get the next one. And I just flatten that down and try and align that carefully. And just press that down firmly. So I've got those two joined together. Then I'm going to take the next one and add the glue. It wants to spring up, but that doesn't matter. Then we're going to join these two together. those are joined together. Now I've just noticed that one of my pieces of card was slightly bigger than the other but that's not a problem. I can just trim that down. You might just occasionally find that. So I've joined all of those together. Just press them down quite firmly and then I can open those out. Now There we go. If you wanted to strengthen those joints, you could always use a stapler just to strengthen them if any of them come apart. Um, but then we've got the basis of the fan. And then what we need to do now is narrow it at one end. So what we'll do is we'll concertina it all back up. And this is where it's just quite useful to have one of these bulldog clips like that. We can just flatten it all out. And you can see how the fan works. Um, so I'm just holding that flat together while I get some masking tape. And then I want to put that onto the base to tape that around. around the base and fold it over and just one more bit for good measure okay and then I can now open that up and if you see any bits that are gaps again just you could always put a little bit of a staple in there um, I'm going to hold mine with my clip like this. And there we have the Spanish fan. Thank you so much for joining me in this activity and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.